Five Torches Deep, a mix of 5e and OSR. Let's learn to make a character. Step one, pick a race. Humans have no class restrictions. Dwarves, halflings, and elves all have class restrictions. Humans roll up every ability score. Dwarves, elves, and halflings get certain ability scores set at 13. All the others are 2d6 plus three. Let's choose an elf. Step two, roll for abilities. My dexterity and intelligence are 13. I will roll for the other four in that order. Step three, pick a class. This character cannot be a warrior. Tannis will be a zealot. Add your level one proficiency bonus and your starting class features. My starting hit points are five plus my con modifier. There's my original. I can use simple weapons. I can use any armor, heavy or light. Heavy will take up more load. My proficiency checks are in spellcasting, history, insight, and whatever my archetype gets me, which you do not get until level three. Before moving on to equipment and spells, let's figure out some of these attributes. Under con, you have hit points and resilience. Resilience is the number of hours a PC can adventure without food or rest. Max supply is your intelligence score. This is how many supplies you can bring on your adventure to replenish consumable items. There are two types of magic, arcane and divine. Divine being magic for zealots. This is your wisdom score plus your spell casting proficiency. At level one, these are all plus two. So wisdom plus two is 15. Arcane is simply 14 because there is no proficiency bonus. Morale is simply your wisdom score plus any proficiency bonus that your game master chooses to give, such as if you are a hardened fighter, you might have a plus two. For perception, just grab the modifier under your wisdom and that will be your perception bonus. Your games master will choose how they want to use this stat. Max retainers is simply your charisma score. How many retainers you may hire. This is how many magic items you can equip at one time. It is your charisma bonus with a minimum of one. I have no charisma bonus, so the most magic items, not including expendables such as scrolls or potions, this is the most amount of magic items I can have equipped at one time. Let's move on to equipment. Rizella, I get armor of choice and a shield. I will write shield. I get my holy symbol. I get a healer's kit, one load, and it takes two supply to replenish. I'm taking five rations. Zealot's got to eat. One load, five supply to replenish. For small items like holy symbols and other things such as sundries, which we will roll here in a second, those can all compile into five or six that would represent one load. I'm taking a Lamar. I have no idea how to pronounce that. It is two loads. A shield is one load. Rolled a 20 and a four for the sundries table. A 20 is a coarse rasp and a hooden lantern. Nice. We skipped max load. Max load is your strength score. I can only carry nine loads without beginning to become encumbered. So let's calculate load. Here we have two, three, four, five. Our supply is five supplies for every one load, rounding up or down to the nearest old number. So if I wanted to bring 14 supply, that would take three loads. Three, five, six, seven, eight. 
Aha, but I've missed something. I forgot to grab a weapon. Might be needed in a dungeon. As a zealot, I can use a simple weapon, one-handed, two-handed, or two one-handed weapons. At this point, with a shield, I will take a one-handed D6 weapon. On the example weapons, you see martial, simple, one-handed, two-handed. So in perfect zealot form, I will take a mace. One-handed weapons are one load, two-handed weapons are two loads. Our melee bonus is our attack and damage with the strength mod. And our ranged is attack and damage with dex mod. I am now at max load and ready to go. For armor class, light armor provides an AC of 12 plus my dexterity modifier, and the shield adds another two. On to magic. For magic, I will know three cantrips. I will also be able to take one first level spell. I will take these from the divine spell list. I definitely want to smell evil aligned creatures, of course. So I will take stench of evil. I have to take stable touch. Since the game is called Five Torches Deep and you really have to manage your materials, items, supply, I think I'll take Illuminate, just in case. Now to decide my first level spell. These spells can be cast as many times as possible until you fail a spell and something goes awry. Then you can no longer cast a spell of that spell level until you have a safe rest. I want Tannis to be a healer, so Suture seems like the obvious choice. And there you have it, we've created a character for five torches deep. Have fun.